I would like to start this video off with a warning. This is a story from my past, and as such, in the past, I was an arrogant idiot, and I often made the mistake of taking way too high doses of substances, especially my first go doing them, and I want you guys to learn from me and not make these mistakes. These do make very interesting stories, that's why I'm telling another story of myself taking a crazy high dose of something, but learn from these stories and don't follow in my footsteps and never do anything just because you saw it in a YouTube video. This is the story of the very first time myself and my girlfriend tried ayahuasca. This story takes place while we were actually living abroad. We were living in New Zealand. I thought it was fitting to take ayahuasca while we were surrounded by such, you know, a gorgeous country. So anyway, on to my story. I made us a concoction that was about five times higher than the suggested average dose. That's right. I was an idiot. I had figured that since I was already experienced with smoke DMT, that the ayahuasca experience was probably going to be too weak for me. And for me to get anything beneficial out of it, I needed to take a monstrous dose. I was punished severely for my arrogance and stupidity. I will just tell you guys that right now. It was not a smart decision and you will find out why very shortly. So anyway, we took our doses around eight o'clock at night. I boiled them down to a small enough amount that it basically fit in like a tiny little shot glass, which was good, so we didn't really have to worry about chugging too much nasty liquid. Um, within the first 10 minutes, I think my girlfriend threw up. She had a really hard time holding it down, so she just puked it all out, which is common with ayahuasca. And so because she threw up, and since I didn't make enough for a second go, her experience was very limited since a lot of it didn't really dissolve in her gut for her. Now, as for me, I didn't even puke. Yeah. I'm not wearing this like a badge of honor. I wanted to puke, but for some reason, I just, I couldn't get the puke out. So I managed to hold in my entire dose, which again is five times higher than the average dose, meaning that every last little bit of this dreadful ayahuasca was going to absorb in my gut. So not even 10 minutes had gone by and I already started to feel it. I remember looking around the room and it was an orange room and all the orange colors were just like intensified dramatically. They almost turned into like a goldish looking color. And I remember thinking, oh, this is really cool. Everything looks just like when I smoked DMT, this is awesome. And this lasted maybe five minutes. I was kind of like in an in-between zone. Like I, I, I closed my eyes. I felt like everything was vibrating and I felt like I was just gonna blast off as if I smoked it and then it died really weird. And I went completely back down to baseline. And my girlfriend was feeling a little bit of effects. She said that she was getting like uh, trails and stuff. So she was getting something off it. I, I remember thinking, is that it? Was it, did I just drink that just for some quick, like five minutes of visuals? So we decided to go out for a walk and you know, just to give it some more time to kick in. So when we were walking, this is completely random. We found a kitten we brought the kitten back home, actually. Um, anyway, besides finding a random kitten, as we were walking, more time had passed, more time had passed, and I remember feeling the, this, this feeling of terror just kind of like creeping up my body. And I tried to just breathe and let it pass by me, because at this point, it had honestly been almost two hours since I had taken it. So I just, I had written the experience off. I thought that absolutely nothing was going to happen. I mean... I felt it within 10 minutes, it died down. Two hours later, nothing happened, you know, right off experience, better luck next time. But no, no, two hours later, I start feeling this creeping terror. And my girlfriend was in a pretty nasty mood for some reason, I remember she was being really pissy and she really wanted to take this cat home. And I was like, no, I don't wanna take this cat home. And we were arguing about whether to take this friggin' kitten home or not. And the effects just started getting overwhelmingly intense, mainly just this deep-seated terror feeling. So I, I started just looking at her and I remember going like, help, 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 help. And she's, she's like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I'm just like, help me, help me, please, please help me. And she's like, okay, okay, let's go back to the house. <laughs> so we went back to the house and we were living with roommates at the time. So it's not like we had the whole house to ourselves. We kind of just retreated into our room. And I remember I was just like, 
pacing back and forth, just, just saying help. And she, she was like, Adam, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help you. What's wrong? This is a little blurry for me, but next thing I know, it was as if my entire memory was just like wiped. And I had just been like thrust into my body as if I was like a new spirit being born, like a baby was just thrown into my adult body. I had full control of language, but I had no memories. And it was like all of the, um, all of the qualities and attributes to being a human being were just, I was just realizing for them for the first time. So I remember the first thing I did was look at my hands and I was like, oh my gosh. We have hands? And then and then looking at the wall and being like, that's called a wall. And like touching the wall and being just completely amazed with this wall in my hands. And then more and more attributes of being a human came to me. And I remember start, I started laughing like a little schoolgirl. And I was like, do we do this thing called peeing and pooing? <laughs> All the things that little kids find hilarious, I found hilarious. <laughs> and then more and more things started coming to me, like like clothing. I remember being like, what is naked? We have clothes? <laughs> like, I was just a complete idiot. I was discovering what it's like to be real all over again. It was insane. It was It was crazy and terrifying. And time had just like slowed down to a stop. I remember feeling like I had no idea what time was. Like each moment felt like eternity. I, I had no concept of time at all. I was, you know, kind of freaking out still, just pacing back and forth. And often when we would take LSD and have a really intense LSD experience, we would have sex as a way to ground ourselves. So I remember she helped me take my clothes off like I was a child and she took her clothes off and she proceeded to try to have sex with me to ground me. Now, this didn't work at all because I had absolutely no idea why we were different. I remember looking at my parts and looking at her parts and looking at my parts and looking at her parts and being like, why are we different? <laughs> I, I just, I had no concept of genders. I just, I thought that we were all the same. I was having a really hard time. And then I remember she got on top of me and she's like rubbing on me, trying to get me horny. Meanwhile, I have like absolutely no mental connection to my dick at this time. It was as if it was pfft, like it didn't exist. And I remember like she's on top of me and, and I'm just thinking like time is eternal and I'm just coming to the realization that, oh, this is life. We just rub on each other forever. I, I had this this very solid idea that this is this was it then. Like we, we meet somebody and we rub on each other and that just goes on for eternity. I think all of this insanity and me not knowing who I was lasted for another... 20 or 30 minutes, I remember I managed to just like, like I told her like, you know, that's nothing's going to happen. Like, let's take a break from this. And um, I remember just laying down with my eyes closed and I slowly came back. I can't really remember all the details, but I definitely slowly came back to myself. And yeah, I was just normal again, as if nothing had changed. Uh, but one thing really did change. After this experience, my sensitivity to psychedelics, like it skyrocketed. I don't know if there's any scientific backing to this. I, I really, I can't make any scientific sense out of this. I don't know why it did that, but it definitely reset something in my brain and just made me super sensitive because yeah, I was never as sensitive as I am now since that experience. To sum it up, it honestly just felt like I had been born into my body again. Like I was a baby and just experiencing everything all over again, but in an adult body. And it was like, as, as these thoughts were coming into my mind of like things that are normal like eating and having a penis and mating and you know wearing clothes it was as if i was just like recognizing them for the first time so that's why i was so shocked it was like wow this is so cool we've got hands man like whoa we could do so much with these it was, it was really neat it was definitely an exciting experience and terrifying definitely terrifying because i just completely died like that would be called complete ego death i didn't I wouldn't have probably been able to tell you my name. It was just death. But yeah, I thought it was an interesting experience to share with you guys. You should definitely not take five times the recommended dose of any substance your first time doing it. I am apparently notorious at doing this, but um, yeah, they make for the best stories. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this trip report of my first time ever doing ayahuasca. 
Uh, leave in the comment section below what trip story you would like to hear next, and maybe I will tell it. Major thanks to all you guys on Patreon right now. I can't believe that more people keep signing up to support what I'm doing on Patreon. You guys have all of my love right now. If you ever see me on the street, I'll give you a big hug. If you want to get behind what I'm doing, please check out Patreon. I will include a link in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Till next time, toodaloo.